एवरीवन माय नेम इज देव कार्लेकर आई वेलकम यू ऑल एट गुरु स्कूल्स फॉर अनदर इंट्रोडक्टरी आईटी ट्रेनिंग सेशन टुडेस टॉपिक वी हैव इज प्रेडी इंटरेस्टिंग वन सॉलिड वर्क्स 3D CAD इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स नीडलेस टू से इट्स अ वेरी पॉपुलर प्रोडक्ट इट्स अ वेरी पॉपुलर टूल इफ यू आर इन mechanical industrial engineering if you are into automotive and any kind of manufacturing engineering it's kind of a niche because unless you are in manufacturing and industrial domain you will not come across this product very high in demand it's the latest and the greatest and especially consumed very widely in the manufacturing and industrial engineering domain so who should be looking at it who should be seeking the training for this emerging and futuristic technology product which is pretty much high in demand uh, in the manufacturing industry so the prerequisites if you have mechanical industrial electrical engineering background or any engineering background an open mind willingness to learn you are pretty much all set to work in corporate america learning this skill now let me also give you a backdrop of guru schools as the name suggest uh, guru schools is a modern workplace in the form of uh, our ancient gurukul ashram we strongly believe uh, education is that one strength once it comes to you it stays with you forever and its most important feature it grows by sharing okay we bring a world class training in uh, industrial mechanical it education to the ambitious people such as yours by giving you a good blend of theoretical and practical knowledge some of you may be lateral may be experienced people and it's a good way of upskilling yourself by learning new things by unlearning old and outdated skills and relearning what is more important right these are important skills and and it's a need of the hour in today's ever changing world just to make sure it shapes your career and it shapes your profession uh at guru schools we are known for six pillars so what are the six pillars we have at guru schools which makes us unique than the other people so the six pillars are pillar number 1 is the 6 to 8 weeks of training which gives you a good blend of theory and practical the second pillar is course completion certificate upon you finish in the training if you attend 70% of the training satisfactorily you'll have a course completion ceremony and you'll be awarded a certificate diploma the third pillar is very key and very important to have a reference ready resume preparation with the help of the trainers and our internal projects you will be teeing in to various small projects which will give you confidence and something to write in your resume the fourth pillar is vendor interview questions and answers preparation we work with various large tier 3 tier 2 tier 1 implementation partners in the automotive manufacturing electrical industry we also work with uh, many of these indian uh, engineering outsourcing partners like mahindra automotive or lnt engineering automotive and all and they secure various projects and that gives us an opportunity for our consultants to work for them the fifth pillar is the client interview coaching and interview assistance this is clients like the fortune 5000 corporate america client primarily in the engineering manufacturing domain where we have placed people before and will help you towards preparing for the interview and the sixth is 
placement and ongoing project support. Okay, once you get placed, our job doesn't end there. We continue to give you project support so that practice makes you perfect for up to six months. Okay. Apart from SolidWorks uh, 3D CAD engineering, we also have uh, over a uh, dozen plus training courses uh, where uh, we provide primarily IT engineering and uh, life science healthcare training in no particular order. I'll simply mention them. .NET Full Stack, Agile Scrum Master, Android iOS Development, uh, Big Data, Business Analyst, uh, business intelligence visualization reporting tools like Tableau, Click, Power BI, Snowflake, uh, Cloud DevOps, uh, front-end uh, UI design development, Informatica Cloud ETL development, uh, Java full stack, microservices, uh, MuleSoft integration, uh, Oracle NetSuite uh, ERP development, project management, Python data science, robotics process automation, uh, Salesforce Administration and Development, uh, Biostatistician, Clinical Trial Data Management, SAS, Clinical Validation Quality Management, and many other skills. Okay, most of the Fortune 5000 corporate plants in America are our consumer for these skills, and uh, all these skills have a very huge scope uh, working in the North America client domain. Okay, this technology training tracks are primarily for six to eight weeks duration. Uh, they cut across uh, weekdays and weekends. During weekdays, it's primarily uh, late in the evening, say seven to nine or eight to ten or nine to eleven Eastern time. Weekends we run in both the timing zones: uh, morning sessions, afternoon sessions, as well as evening sessions, depending upon the availability of the trainers as well as the students. We are here to help you get a job. So whatever it takes, we are there to help you. And after the weekend training sessions are also uh, primarily practice sessions, repeat sessions, catching up sessions. Okay. Uh, so you know, if you are looking to seek a career working in corporate America, if you want to work in the USA on our projects, all these training courses which I mentioned about, including SolidWorks, will be free to you. It's our way to give it back to corporate America as well as we are investing in people. Okay. Thereby, we are reducing the unemployment, which is what we are looking for. Okay. We are also uh, working towards, along with the training for the candidate certification for the requested uh, skills they are looking for because we are doing this for some more than 21 years now so that helps our candidates to get the much needed support and also a feather in their hat to have the necessary certification. Okay. Most of the jobs are either contract or full time uh, so irrespective of what the opportunity is whether it's a full time or contract you will be getting a job uh, these are difficult times uh, covid 19 pandemic and the global recession millions of job losses uh, so depressing if you were to look around i mean you know this week we have like a two feet of snow uh, which has pondered us as in uh, new jersey so it's all locked down for the last four days uh, so in this depressing environments we are kind of that ray of hope uh, wherein we are trying our level best virtually using our uh, dual heritage, India as well as the USA. We are doing our level best towards helping people. And as I said, and I often say, Jana Seva is Ishwar Seva. To help people is divine. So we are basically, it's our art of giving to help you get a job. In every adversity comes the opportunity. Okay, so the other good side of COVID 19 pandemic is all jobs are remote. There are a lot of jobs have created. You know, we are coming out of this pandemic. So corporate America is hiring in big numbers. So if you align yourself, focus yourself, you will get a job with the help of Guru Schools. With our six pillars, you play to win. Okay. As I already mentioned, why we are unique? Well, the focus is not on 
mayor throw some training videos drop some money and gone no our focus is not making quick bucks on you by you know forcing you to pay for every single thing which we do here we are more focused on your career guided employment placement support so we are ensuring that we are a partner in your career making i already mentioned the six pillars pay attention to those six pillars and and that's what makes us unique and that's what we are confident will help you towards getting a job in today's session i see good number of people have joined in and i thank you all for joining in uh, as i said this is our first introductory session uh, it's an overview session so what do you expect in an overview session it's like a movie trailer it gives you enough idea about what you are getting into okay so the next one hour uh, our trainer will showcase you what is solid works 3d cad engineering is all about it also will give an opportunity towards the tail end of it uh, at the end of the session to have a questions and answer session please feel free to ask any questions you may have you may speak you may type i will be more than happy to take questions on your behalf for those who could not join or have to leave early a recorded copy of this session will be made available uh, on guru school's website as well as uh, on our linkedin page on our facebook page as well as on our youtube page please do not forget to subscribe us on youtube because that's going to help you towards getting this repeated training videos and any new activities which we do if you have any more queries which may come at a later part of time our email is training@guruschools.com okay and if you want we can always send you the link for this recorded training session there so for today's our subject matter expert is sumanth uh, sumanth he has extensive experience working in the it as well as uh, industrial manufacturing engineering area uh, he is associated with various uh, national and state level agencies in india where uh, you know he works with them very closely diligently towards uh, training and mentoring as well as uh, helping the state and uh, central government for uh, creating employment in the manufacturing industrial engineering domain okay they have got lot of awards and laurels for doing so so without doing any further ado i want to welcome sumanth he will showcase you for the next one hour about the solid work 3d cam cad engineering course overview thank you all for watching sumanth welcome thank you uh, dev sir so i'll just continue uh, so as uh, so dev sir had suggested about uh, the six pillars so this is the uh, like a main focus point uh, for the uh, like uh, guru school teaching uh, training here so the first we'll start with the trainer led uh, uh, like instructor led training so where it will be a six a six week program so we will train on the solid works uh, software uh for starting from the sketching till the drafting works and then once it is done we will go with the certification and then help you with the resume preparation then vendor interview and then uh, we'll go with the client interview once uh, all this uh, once you get the job there and also the major part is like we'll support you with the uh, projects so now uh, the next uh, question uh, which comes into the mind is the, what is sol like solid works and what is the job market in the solid works so when we see that okay when we have a small uh, information take information about solid works so solid works is uh, developed by uh, dassault system so i think dassault system is a very uh, well known uh, company so it is the same company which is uh, supplying the uh, dassault that is the rafal aircraft so it's a france company dassault aerospace so i i can you can uh, imagine that this also deals with uh, aerospace uh, products the software is mainly for the aerospace products and also for the 
tool design and uh, tool manufacturing pro- uh, products as well so in this uh, cad uh, thing it, it has a high level of uh, job requirement so we'll have a, a small review of this so when we uh, search for like solidworks design engineer in indeed and uh, career uh, builder so we can see that there are plenty of uh, job opportunities uh, which you can uh, see and uh, yeah this is a very famous software solidworks is a very same uh, famous software in the cad industry so that is the designing industry so now uh, the next uh, the next upcoming question which comes uh, to our mind is once we know that there is lot of jobs the next question pops up is uh, what is the salary package so the salary package usually depends on the years of experience it's basically in mechanical so you can say that uh, how much uh, like how uh, like how many years of experience you gain so that many uh, like uh, sa- like uh, the rise in your income takes place so uh, for example when, when you are starting as a junior so you for having the one or four one to four years of experience so you will be having uh, like uh, you will be getting uh, 122000 uh on an average 122000 dollars per year so the same thing when you are a senior that is from 5 to 10 years of experience so the number increases and you are an expert again the number uh, increases and this is not the only limit like expert 10 plus so in this way the your income will also increase now uh going to the major uh, one is so uh before going uh, to know about the solid works let's know what is uh, industrial design actually we have to have a knowledge about the industrial design first because as a designer so you should know what is designing okay so solid works is a platform by using which he will do the design but as a designer as especially a mechanical designer the person should know what is industrial uh, design so to give you more information about it like uh, and also like make this uh, uh, session also interactive so i have some question and discussion with you guys i hope like everyone uh, participate uh, in this and when i'm then i'm there when i ask you the questions i want uh, good participants okay so uh, d- give you more information like if you see like we have two pictures here like two chairs which you can see so i want the participant to suggest me like which uh, the chair they will uh, uh, prefer the one or the two you uh, any other answers like i think you you guys can uh, unmute and you can uh, speak okay to so, always so in, yeah okay so yeah, when we have the zero or less zero. yeah yeah this, this yeah in this one like when you are talking about second or the third so which one you prefer third. Third. Uh, okay third okay yeah so next we have uh this is a nokia phone so we uh, i uh, like which one do you prefer the first one or the second one I have not used Nokia for a long time so I don't know. I will not use Nokia. You you can guess uh, like, like if you see this you can guess and that's no problem. I'll say second I use second which was really you know hard as phone like very sturdy even if you bang it on a head that will he will get a you know big temple and all. So I'll say second. Okay. So in this the second or the third? Naturally yeah. third. the third third is more slicker yeah so uh, when we go back to our uh, question so i think see uh, these two pictures resemble the chair right so once we see these two so both are the chair and the what is the major purpose of the chair is like make you uh, sit comfortable so that is a major purpose of the chair and i think in the one as well as in the two both you can sit and it uh, so yes it and you can uh, that is a major purpose it is serving but most of them uh, suggested that uh, two is better than uh, one so it th- like even though it is uh, satisfying the purpose of that particular thing so even though it is satisfying the purpose so we are t- uh, choosing the product which is having more comfortable 
because you can say like people suggest it too because it is more comfortable so because it is having more extra fittings like uh, we have a uh, 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 armrest and the design wise shiny everything so in the second and the third if you see so the third is more attractive so even though we don't know whether we it will be comfortable or not so not in experience but when we see the product it seems like okay it is something different let's choose this the same thing happens with the phone okay one or the two so like some choose two and some choose one so while uh, yeah so as uh, suggested by one of our participants this uh, two is the most strongest phone so unbreakable phone and the one uh, looks uh, a new new phone so even though the one is a new one and the two is the older one we prefer two and then when we see this so even though the second one is the most strongest phone and third is not so strong but still and also like in both the phones we can make call do messaging everything is fine but again we'll go with the design part design attractiveness okay so these there are uh, some terminologies uh, called as uh, ergonomics aesthetics so these are very important when we are talking about the industrial design so there is uh, like when companies are competing at equal price and functionality design is the only differential that matters so when we are uh, talking about the products here so we can't only focus on its purpose so only focusing when we are designing a product we can't only focus on the purpose of the product but also we have to focus on how uh, it will look and how it will make the work uh, make the user easy to use it okay so when it is look wise it is called as aesthetics and when we are making it uh, comfortable like adding uh, uh, like arm armrest and giving some supports all this becomes the ergonomics part okay so this is very important when we are talking about the design so these are the concepts which will be taught to you in these six week uh, program where we will may uh, uh, like not only give you a theoretical knowledge but also help you with the practical knowledge to understand how the design uh, anybody can uh, like anybody can't do design okay it's, it's uh, designing is uh, like an art so it is a technical art technical art where we have to take some technical things uh, consider the technical things so designer can be a technical artist so to do so he should be knowing like uh, what are the looks should be what is the trending requirement and based on that yeah so to give you more inform like give you a brief or uh, uh, about the, the definition about the industrial design it is a synthesis of technology and human needs into manufacturable product so there are two things here technology human needs okay if at all we are only using uh, only uh, using technology and it is not at all satisfying human needs then that product is waste and if at all we only you uh, concentrate on human needs and not at all using uh, uh, new technology and uh, we are still into the old technology again the product will not run so that's why these two are very important technology and human needs so they are synthesized so that our whatever product we are getting will be useful okay so these are the concepts which uh, these are the basic concepts which i uh, will be exploring more and more so when we uh, start our uh, regular sessions here so this will uh, the, here i'll be giving you uh, like brief i won't be able to give you more information uh, like total information here but i'll try my best to give uh, educate you about this so now once we come to know what is uh, like design and all those stuffs so now we will now concentrate on so what is the importance of a designer 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 are the people that you, you are the people who design the product so now here we will understand what is the importance of designer by uh, uh, starting with uh, let's uh, understand with the story okay so here we have two characters one is mr uh, product developer and the other one is mr designer so now these two are the people who uh, like product developer uh, is a person who want to develop the product and designer is a person who makes the concept of the product developer into a reality one okay that is the purpose of the designer now we can see what is a product so now to start with the product there are like uh, steps which we'll go so now the product uh, uh, to start with so the first thing is the idea okay the product developer uh, has an idea in his mind and that idea 
uh, or the cost concept you can say that will be there in his mind and he has to convey that to the designer and that idea will be converted into the uh, real, uh, like real time product so now but here the problem is like there are ideas are plenty but working ideas are very few because we we have many ideas like ideas are like like we uh, we have we need many uh, re- there are many requirements and ideas are example i want a jetpack to start with okay i want a jetpack so that is my idea i want to uh, develop a jetpack but reality what are the problem which will be facing like uh, what is the engine we will be using or what is the fuel consumption all those things practical problems when we see so that idea won't be working out at present like i don't think say that there are many jetpack going on this is an example i gave you so ideas can come up in your mind of uh, plenty of ideas but the working ideas are very few so let's take an example for this let's say i have uh, a whiteboard marker and i have a uh, desktop and uh, now i come up with because uh, these two are separate products i come up with a uh, idea of combining these two and uh, making it a two in one uh, whiteboard marker where it has it is a marker as well as a uh, duster at the back now let's say uh, the whiteboard marker cost uh, $1 and the duster also cost $1 so totally uh, if you purchase it uh, separately it will be a $2 product and if your new product will should cost less than $2 then your product will run if at all it is more than $2 nobody is going to buy it so now how, what are the things which we have to consider when we are selecting the product one is the necessity is it necessary for me to develop this product then cost effective is it cheaper than the existing product and then product credibility whether the product will run in the market so these are the three questions which we we have to uh, ask ourselves and when we answer this then we the product we can it can be launched so do for doing this call this this is called as market survey so whatever uh, like uh, exercise which we do did now so this is called as market survey once the market survey is done and the product is uh, uh, idea is also done and when we do the market survey we will come to know that what is the credibility of the product and end so once this is done then our uh, pictorial uh, our uh, uh, like idea or the concept will be converted into the pictorial form so this is the designing one so this is a third step where we will go with the design okay so first step is the idea on the concept second is the market survey third is the design so this is a very important part so why it is important yeah in the further slides we'll come to that. so well, now the idea and concept is done now the market survey is done and the designing is also done so i want uh, uh, like uh, the participants to tell me like what would be the next process next process any cases so idea is accepted market survey is also done and our designing is also done so what is the next step we have to do any answers okay so if at all uh, when we come uh, we, when we think about it so the next step would be uh, always we think about the manufacturing and when we do the manufacturing the product fails okay so why how the product is failing because the idea is accepted our market survey is done design is also accepted manufacturing is uh, uh, we are proceeding to the manufacturing but the product goes fail why no this is the question which comes into the mind of the product developer and he thinks of doing brainstorm so in the brains process of brainstorming he comes up with uh, like uh, two questions one is like is the physical part inspection is done no second is appearance have you seen the product no the thing is like once the designing is done designing is a virtual platform so where we will be doing the designing with the help of a pc or the laptop in the and it will be done in the virtual world and we will not be knowing how the physical part works and is it we uh, is that particular des- what we have designed will be fitting to the uh, like uh, getting assembled or like appearance wise it is good it is okay uh, nothing is being checked so for doing this this is called as prototype so prototype is the fourth step 
uh, fourth step where we have to check the product what is the physical condition of the product uh, whether it is strong enough to which all those things and then appearance wise whether it is good looking or not so uh, that is the aesthetic is very important so this is called a prototype prototyping is a old old word now the new word is called as uh, 3d printing so we'll uh, we print it with help of uh, some plastic uh, plastic component pla plastic material and check whether the product is good or not so this is all called as prototype okay making a model okay scaled model then again uh, to make the product more effective again the brainstorming continued and then we started uh, thinking about the material selection okay so material selection life of the product and then load calculation so material selection is also very important okay which material we are using and for what application we uh, we are uh, using so selecting a material is very important then comes the life of the product okay how, how like we have to get like how long the product will uh, run and what is the load calculation for example if at all i am planning to uh, uh, manufacture a chair okay a plastic uh, a chair now i have to think like how many people will sit on that so based on that i'll choose the material if at all uh, it is a personal chair then plastic material is fine and if at all i have to make a uh, bigger one like more people then i don't think so the plastic will be good so we have to go with the uh, other uh, possible material okay uh, like mild steel or thing then also see that what is the life of the product okay so life of the product in the sense so uh, like uh, what uh, like how long will that product uh, run uh, properly what are the like because in the process like there are wear and tear happening okay that should not affect and then comes the load calculation so how many people like when i are talking about the chair or like how many people are uh, sitting on that whether the chair can withstand it withstand that load or not so all these things are called as analysis so this is the fifth step of our process which is called as analysis so now we'll just uh, rewind what we have recap what we have done so idea and concept is done market survey is done design is done prototype is done then we'll go with the analysis analysis also done once everything is done we'll finally go with the manufacture once now again the product fit because see there is a saying called everything design cannot be manufactured need to design suitably for manufacture so whatever you design see the software obeys your order and whatever you are doing whatever you are creating so cannot be manufactured so you have to manufacture in such a way that your design should be so suitable that it can be easily manufactured so that will uh, help in reducing the cost of the product okay so that is a sixth step called as manufacturing so we have a small recap of it so this is a general design concept so once we'll start with the uh, concept or idea then comes the market survey then comes the 3d design prototyping and then comes analysis then the manufacturing and we'll get the final product now here why the designer is important because anything happens during the prototyping process in the sense of in in, in terms of appearance uh, appearance if it is not good in that case and if it is not able, we are not able to assemble it or the shape is not proper appearance wise is not good then it will again go with the redesign again if at all uh, during the load calculation or in during the selection of material if we fail then again it will go with the redesigning and then when we are manufacturing and if it if if it is too costly the product uh, manufacturing cost is too high the manufacturing process involved during the designing is uh, too costly or that manufacturing process is not within in house in house in the sense within the industry then again it will go with the redesign okay so here the designing is the key part okay if at all you fail in prototyping or analysis or manufacturing you will directly go to the designing and you will redesign it. so instead of uh, like redesigning takes time and time is money in the sense like we are wasting more time and money on the same design and it will the at the end of the the final product will be costly and the customer will not prefer to buy that so to avoid all these things so a designer should have a good knowledge about aesthetics ergonomics analysis part and then also manufacturing knowledge okay i we we know that designing is a white collar job but to become a good designer you have to do all the other dirty jobs like prototyping 
analysis and manufacturing which will make your hand dirty but still you have to do that then only you will be a good designer otherwise you will be a puppet and uh, sustaining in that company will be a very difficult for you because you have to follow your manager manager make you a puppet and you will not have any te- much technical stuff with you and sustaining in that particular uh, job will be very difficult because if a manager gets a good candidate he will obviously remove you. okay so that's why having good technical knowledge and uh, that is very important so that's why this uh, demonstrate like the, this uh, story which i told you uh, was basically to make you understand that why, why designing is very important okay uh, and also like designer is a key person if he make mistake your final product will uh, be a mistake if he makes it proper your final product will be proper so everything everything depends on the designer designer is the uh, important person here so that's why uh, desi- designing uh, to f- do a proper designing prototyping analysis and manufacturing concepts are very important and this is these are the concepts which we train you in the first and the second week of the session that is the like which was explained uh, during the the six uh, pillar the six focus pillars so where we train you on the first and second week on these basic concepts so that you can understand and get grip on what you are designing okay yeah so we'll go with the further slides now i'll give you more information about the solid works okay guys uh, i'll be continuing with the solid works and the demonstration of the solid works in the next part 2 video kindly find the link in the description